he was he was a very loving and caring father, and he just he really he he, he was caring, but he was tough and fair, and he just wanted us to make sure to instill the right um, values in our lives so that we could carry on even without him. Um, but really, he wanted to make sure that we were good people. Friends on, on both sides of the aisle, both Republicans and Democrats, he really had a lot of friends. And I think it just started with really with personal relationships. That's how he was. He really liked working with people, and I think for most people, just working one on one with people. And I think if you saw his personality, and, and you just, I, I think a lot of people just really, he was just a very genuine person, and, and, and that really kind of caught on. And, when I encountered him well before I ran for the legislature at the gym, it was like we had not lost a step. I did learn, however, that if I was going to get a good workout, I had to get there before the governor to get my workout in before he got there. Because you ended up talking politics the whole time? A absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. What, uh, what kind of embodies him the most? Is there a story or something that comes to mind? Do you know, he was just so passionate about a number of things. So for me, what spoke to me the most is, is his brilliant intellect, but that came with tremendous work. He read everything, and I believe he had a, a photographic memory, but I can tell you for, for sure that he read every piece of legislation as a legislator, as a governor, and certainly threatened my health if I did not do likewise. <laughs>